Hello, and welcome to Getting Set, a basic high school level set design course. I'm your instructor, Jason McIntyre. For today's lesson, we'll be dealing with ground plans. Okay, so what is a ground plan? A ground plan is basically the roadmap for the director, the actors, and the production staff. A ground plan is an overhead view of your set and how it fits inside the space. All right. So there's basically four types of theaters, right? Proscenium, black box, thrust, and arena. For this exercise, we'll be using a proscenium style theater. But let's get back to the what is about ground plans. A ground plan is an overhead view of your set, yeah, but it's an overhead view if somebody came along and chopped your set in half about four feet off the floor. So anything that's above that four feet needs to be indicated on your drawing using dotted lines. Except for platforms and stairs. But I'll get to that later. For this lesson, what you'll need to show on your drawing is the proscenium opening, the position of the main or act curtain, and the up and down stage center line. Okay, are you guys ready? Because we are gonna do this. For this exercise, you will need a standard sheet of white paper, a scale ruler or standard ruler, a mechanical pencil with 0.7 millimeter lead, and a flat drawing surface. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've set our proscenium line and our main curtain line as well as our center line. Everything that we do is gonna be based off of the center line and the main curtain line. First, we're gonna put it in an upstage wall. Our upstage wall is gonna be 16 feet long. So we're gonna measure up, we're gonna put this wall eight feet upstage of the curtain line. So we'll give ourselves a tick mark. And then we're gonna put ourselves eight feet on center at that tick mark. And we're gonna measure over to zero. And we're gonna measure over to 16. And then we're gonna double check, make sure that we've ended up in the right spot. And we're good there. So now we're gonna draw our line straight across. Whoops, a little hiccup there. Just get rid of that. Now <clears throat> we're gonna draw a upstage masking wall. And our upstage masking wall, the end point we're going to start at 13 foot 6, so we're going to put 6 on our ruler on our curtain line and we're going to measure up 13 and give ourselves a tick mark. And then we're going to measure from center, we're going to measure 13 foot 9. So we're going to put 9 on our center line. And measure over. So there's 13 foot nine. And then we're gonna connect the two and we should have an eight foot wall. Look at that. And that's great there. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a hallway over here. So the first point of our hallway is gonna be at five foot 10 off of our curtain line. We're going to give ourselves a tick mark. And then that point is also going to come 10 foot 3 off of center. So we're going to put 3 on our center line and then we're going to give ourselves a tick mark. Okay, so that is our beginning point and we're going to get rid of this confusion right there. Then uh, we're going to come to our corner up here which is gonna be up at seven foot six off of our curtain line. So we're gonna put six on the curtain line and we're gonna measure up to seven. And then we're gonna come off of that 12 feet. So we put zero on our center line and we measure over 12 feet and that gives us 
our two points and we should have a two foot six wall right there parallel to our other wall so that takes care of that let's get rid of this little confusion so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a bookcase wall that's going to go right over here and so our end point from this corner is going to be down here and that is going to put us at one foot off of our curtain line and then it's going to put us at 18 foot four so we're going to put four on our center line and we're going to give ourselves a mark and then we should end up with a wall that is exactly nine feet long so then connect those two points so the last thing on this side we're going to uh, do a masking wall that runs off stage and for that end point of that masking wall we're going to start at seven foot or at three foot seven three foot seven off of our curtain line so we're going to set seven on our curtain line and give ourselves a tick mark and then we're going to come out 21 feet 3 inches so we're going to put 3 on our center line and look at that Bob's your uncle so very close there's that and then we should have a 4 foot wall for our return And then we draw that line. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna move over to stage left. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a masking wall out here. And what that does for us is we're gonna start the masking wall at, or it's gonna end at 15 foot seven. So we're gonna put seven on the curtain line and we're gonna measure up to 15 and then we're going to measure out 16 foot 8 from there so we're going to put 16 on our center line and we're going to measure out to 8 and just double check our height on that since it's so far away again we want to be at 15 foot 7 so we're going to put 7 on the line And there we hit 15 and with that we should end up with a wall that is 11 foot 6 and we draw our line okay so now we're gonna come down and we're gonna create the front edge of this and so we're gonna measure up by foot 10 so we're going to put 10 on the curtain line, give ourselves a mark at 5 foot, and then we're going to measure over 10 feet from that point, and give ourselves a tick mark, and then we're just going to double check. So our first one was at 5 foot 10. And we should end up with a wall that is three feet point to point. Okay, so now we're going to do the back end. So we're going to start at 13 foot four is where we're going to go up. So we're going to put four on our line and measure up to 13. And then we're going to come out 18 foot 9. Long way to go. So 18 foot 9. Push us up here. And 9 is right there. And we're going to just double check our 13 foot 4 measurement. So put 4 on our curtain line. There's 13. We're going to come across. Make sure that we're hitting at three feet on our points. And 
and whoops, draw our line. Okay, so now all we have to do is connect these two points and we want to make sure that they are at 11 foot 6, which they are. And that finishes that one off. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make an adjacent wall coming out of here. Um, so where we're going to put that is the first corner is going to come up at 8 foot 4 from our curtain line. So we're going to put 4 on our line. And then where 8, cleverly enough, where 8 intersects that, that'll give us a pretty strong starting point for our wall. So we'll give ourselves a tick mark. We're going to measure over and make sure that we are at exactly 13 feet from center. Puts us right there. Okay, so that is our beginning point and then we're going to come down and we're going to end up at one foot six from our curtain line. And 18 foot 10 from center. Double check that one. And we're good. So then <clears throat> we're going to connect our wall. And we should have a nice 9 foot complete wall. And then to finish off, we're going to do our return off stage wall. And so that masking edge, we're just going to measure up on the edge of the paper. We're going to measure up to four feet. And give ourselves a tick mark. And then we're going to come down and there's zero. And there's four. <laughs> we're not done yet. Now we're going to talk about ground plan symbols. There's a basic set of symbols that we put on ground plans to indicate doors, windows, shrubbery. Each one of these symbols is specific to the item on the ground plan. So remember that four foot dotted line thing? Yeah, that applies to molding, doorways, backdrops. For platforms and stair treads, we draw those as solid lines. So what we do for our platform is we draw two diagonal lines, corner to corner, and then on the lid of the platform or the stair tread, we draw a small circle. Inside of that circle, we put a plus sign. And then inside of that plus sign, we indicate the height of the platform and the stair tread in inches, not feet. So next to the plus sign, plus 12 inches, plus 16 inches. Get the picture? Check it out. Using ground plan symbols, I've added details to our quarter inch scale drawing. For example, in the inside corner of our stage right wall, six inches out, I've added a two foot recessed bookcase. Our hallway now has a door, two foot six inches wide. In the middle of our upstage center wall, we now have a six foot wide casement window. Over on stage left, our platform now has a set of stairs with a 6 inch rise and a 10 inch run. At the top of the platform, 18 inches, one foot back we have another door. Also we have a set of escape stairs leading off the back side of the platform. And finally, in the downstage left corner we've added a fireplace, one foot in from the corner, three feet wide. Now you can add these details using your quarter inch scale ruler. <laughs> You think you got it? Here's one more thing from my floating hands. To finish off your drawing, you want to place a few key measurements on there. Remember, you're not building from this, but you want to give your director or whoever you're presenting to an idea of how much space they're taking up and what kind of sizes we're looking at. Um, so just a few key dimensions um, on your ground plan. And remember, Put a little title box in here about a quarter of an inch uh, by a quarter of an inch out of the way it's about two inches by three inches give yourself a title make sure the scales on there and sign your work well 
I hope you found this lesson to be challenging and informative. Until next time, I'll be getting ready while you're getting set.